whole thing is going to be better right here. And I'll show y'all what I got. So what I got was, um, my mother gifted it to me. It's a, what is it, a cot? What's this stuff, Simon? Yeah, it's a cot. Okay, it's a cot, and it, so it's going to go all over here. So guess what, guys? Cora's going to switch up her van again. I was able to give her a, a cot from Walmart. And we'll show you what that looks like. But say hi, Cora. Hey, y'all. Look, my, my build a bear thing, my friend Rudy gave me. Thank you. But I have uh, baby pictures in here. So that's where I keep my baby pictures at. So, yeah, she's going to be switching her stuff around. I'm kind of doing some curtains. I have a video coming soon about that. And yeah, I'll show you the after. And I'll probably give a little clip of the before. Just so you guys can see how she switched it. But yeah, stay tuned. Ready? Yeah. So uh, I, I'm, I'm keeping this because, you know, later I would like a, a home base. Someday I will have a home base. So this yep. is like some artwork that I have. Like, well, this, you know, I can put in my. This is uh, a bit sooner than I did. But I mean, Let me I zoom can, out. <laughs> I can put this, you know, in like the actual paper in my portfolio. But, you know, I have other stuff here that's like on canvas like abstract and I have uh, this, like palm tree stuff over here I got two of these that are different kinds it's really nice and you know I would like to keep these for when I have a home base so you know I got them so yeah that's, that's yeah the home base is always a thing that we're planning on doing in the future when we don't know but we know the importance of having a home base we're just we're just nomading right now, full timing, because we want to experience it. So that's what we're doing. It's all a journey, y'all. It's all a journey. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely. Oh. Whoa! Turn that off. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, so we know the importance of a home base, but yes. you know we're kind of keeping an eye out because we want to get something out west, not in Oklahoma. For me, not Texas. Cora likes Texas. I like Texas. I do, but like Dallas area, I don't like anywhere else. <laughs> telling my mom earlier really, I was like well you know I was thinking to myself you know in the next five years do I see myself you know with the home base and honestly no I don't I do not I see myself with a bigger van but I still like the nomad life this and that yeah you know the next 10 years possibly you know within the, the next 20 years I I would like you know, I don't know I would like in the next 20 years to have a home base because you know my mother my mother she's gonna want a home base faster than I do so mm -hmm. you know put in together and get us a little place but as of right now and the next few years i this is this is what i like so mm -hmm. that's how i feel about it yeah, yeah just because you're 20 also so. that's that's what i'm saying and you're older than me and you you know you're Obviously. at that time where you want to settle down faster than i would so yeah of course yeah. mine i would like a home base sooner than you yes, because we're all gonna get old and it's nice to have a home base and even if it's a tiny house, a small little uh, single wide trailer, this, anything, you know. We're putting it down. It's all electric, y'all. Oh. Ooh, no hands, hands free. Hold on. Oh, my bad. I guess you I gotta stuck? press the button. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Isn't that cool, y'all? And then, you know, just flip it. Boom. So. Yeah, yeah, as you were saying, sorry, I just wanted to, you know, to show y'all. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I'm always keeping an eye out for a home base because, you know, I know the importance of it. I know we get older. I know we'll have medical problems, hopefully not in the near future, but well, it, it happens, me. you know. Cora does have medical problems when she gets older. Maybe my age, she won't be able to roam around like she does now. Well, see, that's the thing, too, you know, within the next five to ten years, I'm sure we're going to find us a good deal. Mm -hmm. You know, we just got to be patient. Yep. So that's good for us right now. You know, we're, we're open minded to finding a home base. Yeah. But we're we love our lifestyle right now, but we keep our eye out. So, you know, if we see a good deal, you know, we just might hop on it. But, you know, so far, everything is like it's expensive right now. So, you know, we're, we're, we're relaxing, we're chillaxing, y'all. Mm -hmm. Ozark, baby. There, I Look. got you. And she's gonna have maybe six inches oh. under. Uh, maybe, maybe six. Let inches. me go around the other way. Okay. See, it's Ozark. Oh, 
Ozark Trail. This is my favorite brand, y'all. It's my favorite brand. Like my cup, my thermos cup is Ozark. My chair is Ozark. I love Ozark. Yeah, and it's cheaper. Even the Yeti, the Yeti freaking cups aren't as good. This guy. Okay. So you still got at least well, at least a foot and a half right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, pretty good. Yeah, if you do it all the way over there. Or I've also seen if you scoot this all the way up here, you can have this as a backrest. Put some pillows over here. It just depends how you want to do it. Well, I don't like that because my thing, it doesn't go all the way up because it's electric. So I won't do that. Oh, yeah, because it always, it scoots back. Yeah, it scoots She's back got the... And it, and it makes my curtain, uh, it ripped my curtain and everything because it presses on the bed. And it just like, and it pulls my curtain. So it's just like, I'd rather have it back here. <laughs> yeah, but that's good for me. Good for me. Oh my god, quit doing that. Hey, how y'all doing? It's nice. Stretch your feet out. Yeah. Alright, see, we still have close like to six much. inch, six inches gap. Oh, up well, there too? Yeah, I have like that much. Oh, okay. Well, nice. cool. Okay, so we had cut this trifold to be a two and a half fold but luckily Cora saved the other piece so we're able to stuff it back in here and have the whole thing how does that feel girl this is like that Tempur-Pedic oh girl <laughs> <laughs> it's nice it's really nice good ah, it's nice okay yeah let's put let's put that back in there okay and then she has probably six inches four or six inches because once she's on it of course it's it'll squish down yeah it squishes down whoa blooper so she has a few inches here she can put um, a plastic drawers and slide them that way or she can just put tote bags anything down here creates a lot of storage and she should be able to sit up okay so this is a future idea I might come I might come up with my gosh I might go with putting the cot and the trifold on top because that's leaving a ton of room sorry it's messy Cora's reorganizing but it leaves at least seems like a couple feet because that's about a foot foot and a half two feet on that side plus this is about two foot wide so I think I might do that too once I get rid of the the seats if I decide to get rid of the seats or when I get rid of the seats yes. I might do that yeah see like these containers they're pretty low I think they're they might be six inches or a little bit less in height so that should work then just slip right on oh. <laughs> yeah see it's coming out nicely yeah. it's cleaning and organizing Ooh. so this is just a quick video of a little update of Cora switching out her setup and getting that caught putting her trifold on top um, but pretty soon I'll give you an updated full tour updated of Cora's van. So stay tuned for that.